you know, things happen. Fallouts. Your best friend changes. Because on this path that we're on, prepare to lose people. Prepare to lose possibly your best friend. Be prepared to lose family, other friends. Even prepare for acquaintances in your hometown to turn on you and to start hating on you because these things will happen when you're on this path. You try to be genuine, you try to stay genuine, you try to do what's right. In fact, you do do what's right. And other people have these, what we'd call fallouts. Like I said, your best friend could turn into a demon because of his piss poor or her piss poor decision making skills. It clearly causes problems. It causes toxicity. <clears throat> it causes uh, a lot of distress. Problems. And that's not what you need in your life. You don't need these extra problems. You don't, you're not gonna babysit grown adults. Like it's just, there's things that need to get taken care of and it's only gonna make your life worse if you stick around these individuals, these demons, because it's exactly what happens to them from their piss poor decision making skills. Like, you guys wonder why I'm so against like alcohol and drugs and stuff like this. It's because that's like the number one thing that causes demons in the first place. Like if you're going to do those things, you have to be in control of what you're doing. You can't let nothing control you. If you can control your drinking, if you can, if you can drink and forget about it the next day and for the next month, two months, three months, half a year to a year, <clears throat> you will be in good hands. But if you're the drinker that has to have it like every week, even once a month, not good enough. It's not good enough. It's going to cause demons. Same with drugs. Like you can't be dependent on something. You have to be able to go extended periods of time without touching anything because if you can't, you're clearly not in control. You're in control by something else. It's not what you think. I know what it's like to not be in full control. I know what it's like to have a weaker mind. I was addicted to weed before, nicotine before. I was never addicted to alcohol. I never really liked it that much. Like if I do drink, I enjoy it, but it's like, it's what happens afterwards. You're basically poisoning yourself. And this is why <clears throat> I'm not an advocate of these things. And I've just, from my experience, I've lost far too many people to these things. So I stay away from people who get addicted easily to these kinds of substances and absolutely need it. Like I could care less if, if you're in complete control of your life and you can have a drink and you can be the same person and not get your panties in a knot. Cause that's what happens to these demons, bro. They get all emotional and they get all crazy on you. They'll flip out on you because they're addicted to a substance. They're not even themselves. Your best friend could completely flip on you and you're completely normal. It's cause he's an addict. He's taken over by demons. Your best friend turned into a demon mate. Your best friend. It happens. A lot of people I've known in the past that used to be completely normal individuals, like <clears throat> most of them are addicted to something. Most of them are addicted to something whether it's nicotine, whether it's a drug, whether it's alcohol, whether it's anything like this. And I've just seen it far too many times. It doesn't end well. It causes problems. And when you're not like that, 
and they're like that. They're going to see how good and calm and pure that you are. And it's triggering to them because they're dealing with some stuff. They don't feel nearly as good as you feel. So they're going to take things out on you. They're going to treat you bad. Out of nowhere, they can snap on you because they're addicts. Like, there's people that's addicts that don't even admit that they're addicts. They're in denial. And I'm telling you guys right now. They are problem causers. We are problem solvers. We solve problems. We can't even tell them the truth either because they'll just flip out and all this stuff. It's like <laughs> point proven. They cannot handle the truth. They just simply can't. They don't even see a problem in the things that they're doing. They can flip right out at you. They think that's normal. I know what it's like to not fully be confident, not fully have yourself and your wits about yourself. I know what it feels like to be all those things. Like I get why they do what they do. I'm just saying when it comes to you on your path in life, you cannot afford to be around stuff like that. You can't afford to be around these demons because it's what they are. And it's crazy to see because they used to be a person that wasn't like that. They're overtaken by something else. It's really not who they are at all. They're overtaken. It don't make them just a complete demon and this person and, and their name and who they are, they're a demon. That's not necessarily what it is because they could get rid of it if they were smart enough. They're just overtaken by a demon. A demon don't make you solidified as a demon and your name and you're forever that. You can get rid of those things. You can clear the cobwebs. If you're addicted to heroin, you can come off it and get healthy again. If you're addicted to cigarettes, you can get off of that stuff and get healthy again. <coughs> you just have to really want to do it. And a lot of people don't want to go through the pain of quitting, going through the cold sweats, going through, through certain things. And like I said, I really don't care if people do certain things. It's just, you have to be in control of yourself, but I ain't going to come around you being who I am and you're going to flip out at me because you didn't have enough nicotine. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. That shit is weak. Like, I just don't want to be around people like that. I've seen it too many times. They're like very emotional people. They cannot control themselves. They need something. They need something outside of themselves. They absolutely need some substance to make them feel a certain way. Because they don't like how they feel. You have to like train yourself to like how you feel. That's what it comes down to. Guys, I've been through it. I had a slight nicotine addiction before. I had a slight weed addiction before. And I didn't even start doing those things because I didn't like how I felt. You start to experience and experiment with those things because you're told to do it by everybody else. Everyone else around you is doing it. And all of a sudden, as a younger person, you didn't think you ever would. You were told how bad it is. And then you get to that age, and then you do it, and you start doing a little too much, and then you're addicted, and then it causes demons, and then you're not yourself. You see how this stuff carries through? Like, <laughs> the way they warn us about these things when we're children, it really is that bad. Like, those things really are that bad. It can completely mess up your whole life, guys. It really can. Like, I've seen it happen to so many people. Do you think what I'm saying right now is not the truth? It absolutely is. And it's not even like the one time you do something. Because like we, we tried as, as, as like kids, we get to about a teenager and like we try something. It's like, oh my God, they made it seem like it was the worst thing ever. And we don't think it's bad. 
because we still feel like kind of the same because you did it one time but then you keep doing the stuff too much and then you're addicted and then that's the problem it's because you lose who you are you lose yourself you lose your genius you lose the things that made you 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 get overtaken by some sort of substance and it causes demons demonic energy and that's why I don't have friends who are addicts it's not that I'm against doing like even weed or whatever like on a given night or drink on a given night and you're just perfectly fine the next day and everything else you come back to easy because it's not consuming you I have no problem with that I don't, I don't really care but if you get overtaken by something, I guarantee you, I will never be close with a person like that ever again in my life. It'll never happen. <clears throat> I've just seen it far too many times, man. I've seen what these people become. And they are very much liabilities. Not only are they a liability, they're trouble causers. They cause problems, we solve problems. We are problem solvers. They are trouble makers, trouble starters. Chosen ones have to stay away from trouble makers. They will make you into something that you're not. You can get yourself in trouble being around other trouble makers. I've also been around trouble makers before in my life. It causes trouble. You will start to become who you're around. That's why it's important to be selective with the people you have in your life. You are a product of your environment, so you can create the whole environment. That's what I'm doing with my life. I'm creating the environment. I'm setting the tempo. I said, F everybody else. Whatever I have ever done in my past clearly didn't work. It's not working with none of y'all. I'm getting backstabbed. I'm being betrayed. I'm being freaked out at for no reason to the point where I wanna end your life. Because if you ever snap at me like that again, I'm going to end your life. So don't ever do that again. That's trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to be behind closed doors. Behind bars. So it's very important that people with purpose, chosen ones, stay away from those types of people. Because they do nothing but bad for your life. And the thing is, man, they can't even see it from our perspective. We cut people off and it's like, oh, all these excuses they make. It's like, bro, come see me anytime. But come correct. I ain't betraying you. I'm protecting myself. But if you want to come around me, I invite you anytime, but you must come correct. Because if you're an enemy, why would I want to be around you? Your best friend turned into a demon. And these are people you have to leave behind. I don't care who it is. I do not care. They got to go so you can continue to grow because people like that is going to rob you from the right now because they're trouble they're menaces i think all human beings on earth have to get better at living in the right now at this very second not overthinking things not overthinking the future not looking back in the past right now what are you doing that's what matters your actions right now is what matters are you going to pick up a bottle of alcohol or are you going to pick up a bottle of water? Are you going to go to the gym or are you going to go and get shit faced on the weekends? Even if you have a mix of both, it's like <laughs> there's nothing good about it. That's also problems. We need people on point. You can't get too stirred away from purpose. You have to stay on purpose. Purpose is number one. Everything else comes far after. Friends, your relationship, other people, whatever it might be, your purpose comes first. Because that's what being chosen is. Your purpose comes first. It's not the party. It's not the good time. It's not the vacation. It's not the booze. It's not the drugs. It's none of that shit. 
It is purpose. It's a purpose-driven life. You wake up with purpose, you go to sleep with purpose. You dream about purpose. And sometimes you might have a crazy dream about something else because the demons are attacking. And they don't they, they, they want to get you off track as, as much as possible. Guys, something else. When I had the most momentum on my channel, helping the most amount of people I ever have, with the most amount of people ever watching on my channel, a freak storm last year around this time, but it was in September, struck Prince Edward Island, where I come from, and took the power out for a week. <laughs> and it ruined the momentum on my channel. So demons be attacking in mysterious ways to stop the Chosen. But even though things get ruined sometimes, even though things delay us sometimes, we keep pushing forward. The devil, the demons want to discourage you. The people around you want to discourage you. Your own damn people. And that's what I'm saying. You have to be more self-aware of what really is around you. And if it's not good for you, get rid of it. You know you're around people who's not good for you. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I suggest anyone on earth to get away from things and people who's not good for them. You must. In order to keep going on in this life in a positive way and to continue to grow as a person, you have to get rid of these demonic entities and forces and people and keep going. Things is gonna happen. Unfortunate things happen. And it's crazy because it's like, we try so hard to make things right with people. We do certain things and it's like we never think a person like that would, would do us dirty. And all of a sudden, that person does us dirty. Because the truth gets revealed. You didn't think they were like that at first, but then you begin to learn they're like that too. And they're like that too. And they cause distress to our lives. They cause unwanted energies to our lives. And it's like, now you cut them off. And it's like, people wonder why we want to be left alone. People wonder why. I don't wonder why, I already know. I don't want to be messed with. I don't want to be tampered with. I don't want to lose my temper. I don't want to freak out and break someone's face. I don't want to go to jail. I'd probably be in jail right now if I lived like a degenerate, partying, going to clubbing, knocking people's heads off their shoulders, being pissed. But no, not even close, because that's not who I even am. It's not my calling. But if things got out of hand and I'm just this crazy person, then of course, it could happen to anybody who goes off the rails. But I'm too smart for that. I know who I am. I'm going to protect myself, my energy. And that's how it's going to be. People piss me off sometimes, and I deal with things pretty good to this day. There's lots of things that happened in the past that you guys have no idea about, man. Like, <laughs> situations I've been in. Dragging people on the pavement. Picking their body up and throwing her directly down on the pavement. A past friend of mine. Because things happen. Temper flare. Things get out of hand. And that's what you get. That's why you gotta stay away from certain people who's gonna freak out at you first for really nothing, because there, something's up with them. It's demons, it's not even the person, it's a damn demon, because who the person really is, that's not who they are. But it's unfortunate that things have to come to those conclusions sometimes, where you have to harm somebody because they're trying to attack you. But it's not even who the person is, it is a demon. And that's why you gotta stay away. That's why chosen ones have to stay away from the demons because they'll get you in trouble. They're troublemakers. 
They're problem starters. We are problem solvers. So we stay away. That's all we can do. Because we do things the right way. And that's how it's going to be, folks. So that's the take in this video. If your best friend turns into a demon, if anybody else around you turns into a demon, and you know it's just not like who they used to be, who you used to know them as, cut them off.